It costs how much to adopt a child? I'm just trying to give a child a home and be a parent. For the best adoption advice, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that bell button to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. Hi, my name is Lacrice Bundy. Welcome to my channel. I am an adoption attorney and I have helped a lot of families grow through adoption. Now it's your turn. So how much does it cost to adopt a child for a domestic adoption in the US? Well, I made a video a few weeks ago, it's right here, you can check it out. And um, it was about the cost of adopting a child for all different types of adoptions. But today I'm gonna focus specifically on the cost of adopting a child here in the United States. There are two types of domestic adoptions. There are agency domestic adoptions, and then there's private domestic adoption. An agency domestic adoption is when an adoptive couple who is hoping to adopt a child, they hire an agency to help them connect with the, uh, the mom who is pregnant, who is looking into adoption, and they go through the agency to get the adoption done. Um, if you wanna do a private domestic adoption, that simply means that instead of using an agency, you actually hire an attorney, an adoption attorney, to help you through the process um, of the adoption. Now, a domestic adoption can be done either in the state that you're living in. So let's say that you're living in Nebraska right now, um, and you're adopting a child in Nebraska. So you can do a domestic adoption in the state you're living in, or you can adopt a child from another state that you're now living in. So if you do a domestic adoption and you're adopting a child out of the state that you're living in right now, it's called an ICPC adoption in the adoption world. So an ICPC adoption, it's the Interstate Compact of Placement of Children. It's a federal statute that was passed a long time ago and to help give uniformity to how children who are being adopted out of states um, are handled so that every state has to follow those rules to make sure that the adoption is done legally. So how much does it actually cost to do a domestic adoption of a newborn baby? Well, I'm gonna give you the example of a couple who lives here in Nebraska and they adopted a baby out of South Dakota. So it was an ICPC adoption. So what they did was that they actually hired an adoption consultant and um, the adoption consultant helped them to get connected with an agency and then they went from there. So their total cost was about $39,000, give or take a few dollars. The fee for the adoption consultant was about $4,080. The fee to get their home study done was about $1,545. Vaccinations cost about $238. To put together their profile book, um, the book that is shown to you, uh, moms who are pregnant, it cost them right about $390. And home study training was about $188. The agency fees totaled about $29,000. And this included the birth mother living expenses, the agency placement fee, the application to work with the agency, legal fees, agency match fees, agency placement fees, agency technology fees, and even the agency home study updates. For background checks, uh, fingerprinting was about $145, but that doesn't include all the other background checks that also needed to be done. To finalize the adoption once they brought the baby back to Nebraska, cost another $1,500 for lawyer fees, and that about covers most of it. So yeah, an adoption, a domestic adoption here in the United States, again, can cost you somewhere between twenty dollars to $40,000 if you're using an agency to do it. If you have had an experience with an adoption agency, will you comment below and let someone else who may be looking for a good adoption agency? Let's help each other out. An independent domestic adoption, on the other hand, can cost you somewhere between $15,000 and $40,000. And basically just take out all of the agency fees. Um, because if you're doing an independent adoption, you're hiring an attorney to help you through the process and you're also paying for the biological mother's attorney's expenses. So basically when you're doing an independent adoption, you are taking it upon yourself to do the advertisement that you need to get your name out there so that people know that you're wanting to adopt a newborn baby. So because you don't have an agency that can help you advertise, you're doing it on your own. Some people like to just go on Facebook or on Instagram or wherever, whatever social media type that they use to get the name out there to uh, decrease their cost in that way. And and a lot of people get matched just by word of mouth in that way. Others like to build their own website and pay for that kind of platform so that they can reach expectant moms for the adoption. Keep in mind that your attorney cannot help you advertise. Only an agency who is licensed can help you advertise your profile to expect 
expectant mother. So your fees will include your attorney's fees, which will probably cost you about $3,500, and the attorney's fees for the biological mom, which could cost you upward of $5,000. And you'll also have to get your own home study done, which will probably cost you somewhere about $1,200 is my guess. You'll need to get all your background checks done, the vaccinations done. You will also be responsible for the biological mother's medical expenses if she does not carry insurance. And in Nebraska allows you to pay some of the living expenses, um, but really it has to go between the attorneys because you have to make sure that it doesn't turn into like you're buying a baby. So the expenses have to go between the attorneys to make sure that they're only uh, expenses that are related to the pregnancy. So there's all these other costs that are involved and depending on how much you want to spend on advertising, your costs obviously will be more towards the lower end or more towards the higher end. This is why I give you a range because it's just really hard to know for sure sure exactly how much you'll end up spending. It really depends on, like I said, all the, the advertising that you do, which home study agency you choose to go with, if you choose to do a profile or not, and all of those other things. So if you're looking into domestic adoption in the United States and you don't know where to start, I have made a video um, just talking to you about the next steps that you need to take um, when you've decided that you wanna grow your family through domestic adoption. You can click the link below and you can access the video, it's free. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, be sure to subscribe and share with your friends who are looking into domestic adoption. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.